Hey guys, right now it's winter time, and generally this is the time when you, me, your teachers, your parents, we get sick. You get the flu, you get the cold, you get a stomach virus, and usually when you're sick, mommies and daddies always do one thing first. They put something in your mouth, and it's known as a thermometer. But the reality is, you don't always have to buy a thermometer. You could actually make one. Think about it, most people have thermometers in their homes too. Your car has one, your homes have one, I'm gonna show you how to make a homemade thermometer that will actually rise and drop according to the temperature of your house. And what do I need? A plastic bottle. I love science that requires things that you have in your home. First, what I'm gonna do is take this plastic bottle and I'm gonna fill up the bottle a quarter of the way with an equal portion of water and rubbing alcohol, okay? So first, I'll start with the water. I'm gonna make an equal amount of water and an equal amount of rubbing alcohol. Please be very careful if you're using rubbing alcohol and ask your parents for supervision and for some help. I'm gonna pour the rubbing alcohol so I have an equal portion. Now, I'm gonna take the two liquids, you cannot tell which is which, and I'm gonna drop it in my bottle like this, and like this. Now I'm gonna add some food coloring. Because when mommy puts a thermometer in your mouth, if it's not the electric ones, there's usually a red line, right? And you see the red line rise and drop. Now why does it rise and drop? Well, when this mixture is heated, it expands. It actually takes up more space. So when you have a fever, you're more hot. So what happens is the red mixture in the thermometer is being heated. And as it expands, it's telling your mom, my child's got a fever. Well, will this homemade thermometer work? Watch this. I'm gonna add a couple drops of red food coloring. And I'm just gonna stir it around. Now I'm gonna take my straw. The key is not to have the straw hit the bottom of the bottle. You want it to be in the liquid, but not down. We're touching the base a little bit above. And I'm gonna use clay to seal the top. Ready? Take it, drop it. It cannot hit the bottom. So what I'm going to do is take the clay and I'm going to seal the top so that no air can get in and no air can get out. And all of a sudden, I'm going to make sure that the straw is in the liquid but not touching the bottom, just like that. And now, let's test my thermometer to see if it works. So usually when you have a fever, are you hotter or colder? You're hotter. So what I'm gonna do is take hot water. If you think the water is too warm, be safe, use a paper towel, pour hot water into a pitcher or something big enough where your homemade thermometer can fit into. Pour it. Now this has a lot of heat energy. And guess what? When I drop my homemade thermometer into this heat, hot, hot water, the heat will be transferred into the liquid the mixture inside is going to expand and watch what happens to my thermometer. It starts to rise. It's already happening. As you take your thermometer and you put it into the hot water, the heat from the water is going to travel into your mixture. And as it gets heated, it's going to expand. And inside the straw, the water will rise and rise and rise, unfortunately, like what happens to you when you have a fever. And you just made a homemade thermometer.